Okay, so obviously DC is perfect. Because Marvel is good, but not as good. Why? Because they steal all of DC's characters. Yeah, Quicksilver, we're still looking for the flesh. Well, I'm not going to bring it back. And then from that, we're going to steal everything. But, come up with some real things.
I agree with him. The action was pretty fun, especially when Batman was kicking butt. What did he do? He had a, what, what happened to that thing that was saving Martha Kent? Saving Martha Kent. Yes, this is the Batman. This is the Batman that's in the comics. This, this movie Batman, this Ben Affleck Batman, who showed up in this movie is the first time you've really seen the Batman from the comics. But Batman is a beast. Stole this idea. 
Yeah. 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 There, there's, no, there's nobody. He specializes in that. The one laugh in that movie, the one laugh in that movie was when Wonder Woman shows up right. and Batman turns to Superman and says, well, she would you know if she was with you. And it's not even funny. No, and but when it was like that. But when Thomas the Tank Engine comes flying out of the house and lands on a car in the end, man, it's hysterical. I agree with you. Marvel has a personality where DC does it in that regard. They really know how to direct them. They really know how to make their films really work well. They know how to capture an audience. They know how to make it. And they also know how to run. Sometimes you think that it's like when you're watching the second Avengers movie and you're wondering, what's with all the setups? They do that, they do this, and they do it flawlessly. They set you up so that you're ready for the next bunch of films to come right in line and they keep the, they keep the really running well. I would, I would have agreed with them up until 10 years ago. And I think that because of all the stuff that's happened, uh, that movies have now basically resurrected the whole industry, that uh, the comic book, uh, are, they're almost synonymous with the universe, right? So what's happening in the movie is also happening in the comics to a certain extent. And a lot of the character lines and storylines are similar because they're trying to merge the universe together. So up until 10 years ago, totally agree. Any more? I think that they're so intertwined, uh, and now DC's going to try to do the same thing. You should be aware that with the movie, you might see a spin-off comic book on it. Not anymore. Now you're now you're a one a one-off. You know that sort of is up the movie script. Now the universal movie. Now the, the storylines are continuing in the movie, in the in the comics after the movie. Right. The movies are actually the movies are changing. The movies are changing the books. Before you had movie adaptations of something, and now actually. versus DC, if the Justice League was going to battle the Avengers, who would win? Well, if you tickle the Hulk long enough, it's a perspective. I think the Justice League kills it. I don't think it's close. I think Justice League is so powerful compared to the Avengers, you know? Uh, and there's no, uh, you know, I think Batman, you know, so you compare man versus man, right? So Batman versus uh, uh, Cap. I think Batman wins, you know. Why? No, I don't know. Batman's smarter. If Batman can kill Superman, he can kill Captain America. Yeah. 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 So you know, Green, uh, 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 you know, uh, Namor versus uh, Aquaman. Like Superman, you know, if you just go down that Justice 